Hello guys, welcome back to From the Depths, and welcome to the Deepwater Guard campaign, or of Oil and Pirates. In this campaign, I'm essentially going to play as the Deepwater Guard, and my enemy is the Onyx Watch. So there's going to be two factions on the map, myself and the Onyx Watch. So feel free to read this if you want. Uh, looks like we already start with a Rapier class vehicle, so that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, let's just get started. I'm going to set to very hard difficulty, because um, why not? Okay, here we are. There goes... Our rapier, there it is, perfect. And here goes our starting fortress. Look at these waves, oh my god. So yeah, we have pretty much the full... Is this smaller or the same, actually? I can't tell. It might be a little bit smaller than the actual campaign map, or, or it could be the exact same, I can't quite tell. But somewhere in here, probably in this side, is the Onyx Watch. And, um... I don't know, we just gotta kinda take him out. Um, also, by the way, I might sound a little bit sick. I mean, sorry, I might sound a little bit weird, and that's because I'm, I'm a little bit sick, so uh, don't worry about that. So, real quick, I'm just gonna add a... Oh, we have missiles right here, that's good. I'm gonna add, like, a spy antenna. Let's just put it right here. So I'm just gonna build up real quick. I don't know, it feels good to be back. Uh, the past episodes have been a lot of building, so I hope you guys didn't mind that too much. I know building can be a little bit boring, so hopefully this campaign is a bit more interesting. Okay, so looks like the Onyx Watch. Oh, this is very interesting. Okay, check this out. Um, if you think back to Nieder, this is actually, the bottom left corner is where the normal campaign starts. And just to the right of that is where the Onyx Watch, uh, to the, the um, Deepwater Guard is. So the, uh, the amount of territory I have, I assume, is probably the exact same layout as the actual Nieder campaign. So I think this is actually the, the same exact Nieder campaign map, except it only has the Deepwater Guard and the Onyx Watch as the two factions. So that's pretty cool, actually. I thought we were gonna be on like a custom map, but I, I guess I guess not. Why is there, we're, we're using up so much energy. What's going on? Oh, you know what it is? It's all these miners, I think. I think we have way too many of these. I'm just gonna take these off real quick. I'll, I'll, I'll add some back later, but okay, I need, I need to like, I gotta fix what's going on here. This is not good. This whole thing is just falling apart. I don't know why. I think we're also a little bit high up, so I'm going to lower us down a little bit. That should maybe help the engine a little bit. It's unclear. Either way, I'm going to send the rapier out to start capturing some territory. Just because we have it, so might as well. I'm going to head towards this uh, resource zone. Uh, I, I think I'll also head for this one later as well. I just want to start collecting as many resources as I can, and I want to spawn a couple of the matlises that I built in the previous episodes. Okay, I set this to a very hard difficulty, so I would assume that means the Onyx Watch will be preparing to attack any moment now. Not entirely sure, but at some point. So I think I'm just going to use the starting resources we have to spawn in actually our matlis. So let me just do that real quick. There we go. Perfect. Ah, oh, beautiful, isn't it? I love this ship. Okay, so what to do with this one? There's a couple things I want to add on it real quick. I want to add a couple of repair tentacles. Definitely, I'm no longer going to add repair bots onto any of my ships. I think that's just going to be a, a new rule for myself. That's not how you spell repair. Because it's just, I don't think they're fair in any way. I think if I want a ship to be able to heal, it should only be able to heal uh, allied ships and not itself. So if I have two ships with repair tentacles, they can heal each other, which is great. But if uh, they just can't heal themselves, and I think that's that's fine. So I'll just put these here. Uh, I don't need too many of them. Repair tentacles. I don't think I need anything else on this. But oh, the cool thing about this, we also have a radar on top, so this can kind of act as a scouting ship as well. Not a very big antenna, but it's something. Okay, they already have a hundred thousand materials, so they are already doing quite well. Let me see how much it costs to spawn in our uh, winners outpost. So that's 33,000 materials, so I, I have still have quite a ways before I can spawn one of those. Okay, I, I was expecting this campaign to be a walk in the park, but I I can tell very quickly we're going to need some help in terms of our ships. If they have 100,000 resources, like, even if they built something for, like, 80,000 resources, I don't think we could even stop that, you know? Uh, let, al let alone a godly class ship coming our way, which we would just be done for. Yeah, so the plan is capture a square right here uh, to act as a buffer against the Onyx Watch. So if the Onyx Watch can't just attack our main fortress right away, they have to take this territory first and then attack us. So I guess this uh, this first episode could be a little slow. Um, I don't think we're going to make any offensive moves. Uh, maybe. It depends how quickly I can build up forces. Um, I want to have at least two matlises to go with the rapier before I attack this thing, uh, just to be safe. But I think we're gonna have to go with uh, quantity over quality early on because, like, there's the Onyx Watch, man. There are lots of metal, and like with our weak weaponry, it's gonna be hard to get through all that. So we're just gonna need to spam as much as we can. I'm surprised the Deepwater, uh, the Onyx Watch. I mean, I'm surprised the Onyx Watch hasn't decided to attack us yet. I mean, maybe they're just building up. I hope they don't build for like a, a godly 
class vehicle right away because that would really mess us up like that would really ruin us if they get like a trebuchet right off the bat like i need i need at least a slight build up and i know i made this very hard but like i need like come on use it a little bit you know it's worrying me though like it's it's already it's just building up so much what if it builds like a stronghold i've never actually seen a stronghold in like the campaign setting before only in sandbox so that would be that would be crazy if for those of you who don't know the stronghold is like the the, the best ship in like the onyx watches um like design is it's the best ship they have so that's definitely the last thing i want to face okay but now it's time for like the big decision what to do with the cargo vehicle i think i've I, i'm just gonna get rid of the advanced cannons and then keep the missiles on top so it's still gonna be kind of expensive but it's just gonna be no more advanced cannons i'm gonna have just cargo containers hanging off the bottom uh i think you'll see what i, I have in mind in a second right, that's not too bad it's a little weird like <laughs> they're a little bit small for this I was, I was hoping they looked a little bit bigger but you got the idea right so i've got chains with some uh containers underneath oh i figured out okay the reason why the engine was so like uh using so much power before was because of the satellite so apparently the higher up you build the satellite the more engine power it uses because of like how tall the structure is i'm not sure exactly why maybe the game doesn't want you to build tall satellites or something but so i got rid of that and the engine power is much better uh it's all fixed up and so i just added the uh the satellite from my previous companion here i didn't want to use that for this because it was like a previous build but at the same time it's just a satellite so it's not a big deal okay so it looks like i have both my cargo route set up so winners that post down here collecting resources and i have a cargo ship going back and forth same thing over here collecting resources cargo ship going back and forth so i'm gonna be following all my resources back to my fishing hole and then from there i will get ready to launch an attack okay so the onyx watch has stuff here as well i didn't realize they had so much stuff i'm gonna try not to scout too much of this this satellite because it's not even a real vehicle it's just balloons and some material storage so it feels a little cheaty to see exactly what's going on so I'll, I'll just keep this uh close to home base i think for now it's just gonna be a waiting game until i have enough resources so let me load in i'm gonna load in two matlises and then once they're built i'll get ready for attack okay i know i just said i wasn't gonna use this to scout ahead but i can't help myself uh oh uh oh uh oh that's bad that is bad good thing i did what is this oh my god that's moving so quick it must be an air vehicle. It must be, right? Oh, it's altitude. Oh my god, this is not good at all. How do you say that? Basilica? I think that's how you say it. Basilica. Oh, they're going for this one as well. Oh, shoot. I don't have... Oh, I'm not ready for this. Okay, I'm sending all my forces here uh, to defend. Okay, so this thing... That what didn't even come from this base. This came from somewhere else. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it here in time. What can I do? What can I do? <sighs> The winner's outpost might actually have its first battle on its hand. Okay, well, the best thing we could do is let's at least make sure it's prepared for battle. So I have the four cram cannons and I have this missile turret, but I was thinking, uh, since I have empty space in this building here, I would also add... I was thinking I would add some missiles, just a few. Yeah, I just want to add a few missiles onto this building, just so we have a little bit more powerful defense. Just medium missiles, nothing nothing too crazy. You know, usually I'm, I'm pretty like relaxed when I play from the depths. Like I don't try super hard because um, you know, I've beat the game before, I'm pretty comfortable with things. But there, this is this is very hard difficulty and building like the Onyx Watch, I'm just, I'm not prepared. Like if I had my normal attack dose with me, this would be no problem. Uh, but the things I've built so far are just not good enough for this. Like I know, I know it. I don't know what uh, Basilica is, but I mean, it's gotta be decent. How long do we have before they get here? Oh, it's right there. Where is it going? Oh, no, it's coming for us. Are you pre fully prepared? You're not even fully prepared. You know what? You need a lot more materials. You're not going to make it. I need to either scrap the rapier or the uh, the matlas. <sighs> I think the matlas is better than the rapier, if I'm being honest. So, rapier, I wanted to keep you to try you out, but I just I don't have the resources, and you're too slow. Uh, the matlas isn't going to make it either. We only have the cargo ship. We have a cargo ship, and... Oh, we're going to lose our first battle. We have a total of, what is this? 35,000, 40,000. So we have 75,000 materials versus 200,000 materials. There's like a 0% chance we win this. I don't think I've ever seen this before, Basilica. Oh, well, there it goes. Uh, well, we got to turn this to max, just so we can have, you know... Oh, boy. I don't even know what's safer to be on. We'll just go on the the cargo ship because they'll probably target the uh the winner's outpost well oh i can bring this in you're damaged but hey we need all the help we can get turn this all up maximum battle size begin battle make sure you're all the way up and let's freeze the game real quick okay so cargo ship in it will probably launch its missiles soon we have what is this thing oh that's a lot of cram cans well the the <laughs> winner's outpost is dead that's for sure missiles does it have missiles though if it has missiles we're kind of screwed if it doesn't though, if it doesn't have missiles, we might be okay. What is this? Are you a missile? I think you're just decoration. A lot of simple weapons though, actually. Quite a few. I don't see any missiles though. Okay, let's uh... Oh, that looks bad. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Is that right at the AI? 
Oh my god, look at that. <sighs> right in the center. Actually, I think that's okay. Well, this looks bad, and it is kind of bad. It's only in the center, and that, there's really nothing important there. I only have the elevation turrets there, so they are, they're quite slow to move up, but hopefully they can aim up and attack this thing soon. It just, it just destroyed, it has a laser defense system. Are you kidding me? Did that do any damage? That was some missiles coming in. Okay, it looks like the lamb's defense is only on the bottom, maybe? That could be our one hope. Because uh, the uh, the Matlises and the cargo ship were from above. The out winner's outpost is in trouble, that's for sure. The cargo ship's doing pretty well, so it looks like the missiles... Uh, I'm actually going to change the missiles out a little bit. I think they have very few warheads. This thing doesn't seem to maneuver around very much, so I'm going to add another explosive warhead just to do some more damage here. We actually have a shot, though. The fact that this thing doesn't have missiles is great. Oh, crap. I think I missed it, but the AI room looks like it was destroyed. Yeah, for sure, that's, that's dead. It's gone. But we might be in luck here. It has... It's Lamb's defense is only on the bottom. And it only has cram cannons left. It seems kind of slow to turn. Oh, what happened there? What just happened? Huge explosion. Huge explosion. One of the cram cannons was hit. I don't. I missed what did the, the damage there, but which one was it? I didn't quite see which cram cannon it was, but something hit. Something got through. Did massive damage to one of the cram cannons. We still have two ships left. It's still firing at the winner's outpost, which is great. That thing's just going to be a meat shield at this moment. Oh, this is great. We have a shot. We're doing so little damage against this thing. More missiles coming in from the cargo ship. I'm glad I left weapons on the cargo ship. Oh, another big hit that I missed again. Was that a big kick? Yeah, something else. Huge cram can parts gone. I don't know from where, though. I'm not sure if I get to play as the Onyx Watch in one of the campaigns, but I would really like to. I think I'd really enjoy it. Oh, that looks so bad. We lost some good percent there. We put up a good fight, but we might still be in trouble here. These things can stay in the air after taking tremendous damage, which is awesome. A few moments later. I may have spoken too soon about how much damage this thing could take. Engine and AI. AI is still alive. Engine is gone though. Okay, and now there's just two. Might as well hop onto this, give all my repairs to this thing. I think my repair work is fine. I don't think that's too cheaty, and to be honest, I don't mind being a little bit uh, cheesy in this battle because I mean I need the help oh god it looks on target oh no okay this was the, this thing cost the least out of all my vehicles that's why it was the the last to be targeted but <sighs> we put up a good fight but I don't think there's anything we could have done we've done a lot of damage to this thing it's lost 15% health like if we hit the right spot we could be okay but we're just a few hits from going down ourselves uh oh that's on target midsection gone Luckily, there's nothing important in the mid section. The engine is here, and the AI is here. Oh, other way around. Engine is here, which looks like it's partially damaged. AI is back there. No, let's go damage in enemy territory. Oh, that's that's awesome. What percentage is that? 80% health or something? Oh, I don't care. <sighs> oh my god, guys. <laughs> Can you believe that? We won. We won the first battle. That's amazing. Oh, it's so much salvage need to pick up. Okay, so let's start repairs here. Start repairs on you. Let's start repairs on you. I feel bad about scrapping the rapier. You know, I wanted that thing to die in combat and not, like, have to be scrapped. Because it's the ship they gave us to start, but, I mean, desperate times, desperate measures. It just it had to happen. I thought it was over. I thought we were just... It was that, that one ship, I thought it was going to come through and just take knock us out one by one like dominoes. Uh, if any of you guys know what the difference between, like, motor-driven and, um, like, the different kind of barrels are, feel free to let me know, because I have no idea. I just think the uh, motor-driven, though, uh, turns quicker. I could be wrong about that, though. Let's see. Do you raise a lot quicker? Yes, you do. Much, much faster. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, there we go. So all turrets now have motor driven barrels, so they should turn a lot quicker. Oh, what's that? Oh, they have another fortress here. Oh, you know what? I forget. I forgot. This is actually where the Onyx Watch usually has their fortress. I, I thought it was up here, but I think that's probably where the throne is. I might build a second satellite down here, because there's a good chance there's things down here I'm not seeing. And that's actually a little worrisome, because Onyx Watch like ship could be right here and I don't know it's there so let me just get a quick satellite because I don't like the idea of I don't like the idea of a enemy ship being there and me not knowing about it so let me just get a satellite real quick okay 
That's good to know. There's no, there's like there's nothing there. Um, I think usually in the the Nieder campaign, there is a couple of like mining facilities here, but I think they've probably altered things slightly uh, for the custom campaign. Okay, there's one there. Oh, that might actually just be where it is in the actual campaign. That might not have altered anything. They did remove the resource zones here. That's kind of unfortunate. They kept the Onyx Watch the same, but they removed the resource zones for the Deep Water Guard, so that's that's not very nice. Okay, we have one Matlas ready, and we have a second Matlas here as well. And I'm, I'm just gonna build, I'm gonna build a third, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack this thing with three uh, uh, Matlases. I think three should be more than enough to take out one furnace. Two should be good, but I, I wanna be safe. I think I'll take this furnace and then I'll head for or probably this one up here as well. I don't know how the Onyx Watch is spread out, but I'm guessing they probably have some more here. I doubt this part of the map is even used at all for the campaign, so. Wow, 445,000 materials. They can build something big. They can almost build like trebuchets and bulwarks, you know? I mean, this. I guess this is very hard difficulty. But I, I was still expecting it to ease in a little bit, you know? Yep, okay, as expected, the final fortress is there. Does it have anything guarding it by any chance? No, it's by itself. You know, it's possible that the, uh, the furnaces don't actually create ships. They might only make their ships from their onyx throne and not the uh, furnaces themselves. Which would be great for us because if this thing could build a ship, I would be done for. But it's very possible it, it can't. Matlas fleet, we are sending you in to attack the furnace. Okay, so this is actually the first real combat setting for these ships. I've only done the tests you've seen in the designer mode against the doves and stuff, so first combat test, let's see how it goes. It's very likely we're gonna lose maybe one, two of these ships. The The hope is that, though, <sighs> that one took major damage actually, let's check that out. Okay, it looks like we lost the whole turret in this, oh no, that's, yeah, we lost the whole turret here, but as you can see, right, no explosion to the uh, surrounding area, so the engine is fully intact as well as most of the material and ammo storage. So that's why you need to use ammo ejectors, I'm telling you, right? They're all flying at slightly different altitudes, so they don't bump into each other, which is great. And it looks like the shells are starting to wear down this thing, but we kind of just need a lucky hit on the AI. We can't really rely on... Oh, God, what happened there? I don't know what hit us, but we took some damage. Oh, we got hit here. Turret is still online, which is nice. Cam cans coming in. Oh, that's gotta hurt bad. AI is exposed and damaged. Looks like the transmitter has been knocked out, so weapons will be offline on this one. Guys, this is going a lot worse than I thought it was going to go. If I just had the doves, you know, everything would be so much better. Uh-oh. Cram cannon stopped. Did I knock off the transmitter? I'm not sure, but it looks like the main, the main cram cannon is offline, so that's good news for us. Oh, we hit something valuable there. Must have been like an ammo storage or something. They're still firing it for, at this one for some reason. I don't know why. But we actually only have one functioning ship left, and this is hardly functioning. We're so close. If we got like a, a small missile here, that'd be a great shot, just right right through that spot. Yeah, this I can tell this is going to take a while. The only cram cannons online are these two, which I don't think can even... Maybe this one can see us. Uh, this one probably can't, though. Uh, so I'm just shooting from this side with missiles and small advanced can shells. Wow, look at that. So it destroyed two of our matlasses. I'm glad I brought three, you know, instead of two, because this is the first combat test, which is probably not a good idea to have the first, like, actual combat test for how much damage our weapons do be against this. Um, but hey, you know, it worked out. So I guess it's just a matter of time before our weapons destroy this thing. This battle just needs to end. It's, I've been here for so long. Just, just blow it up, please. It can't even hit us. I'm this close to just surrendering. Not surrendering, yeah, surrendering pretty much, or running away. I just don't think it's worth sitting here for this battle to end. When I could just... I, I It would be pure luck if I win, so... I'm gonna call this a draw, a stalemate. It's a shame, it was a, it was a big loss, actually. I have not given up yet, though. Um, I'm just gonna quickly repair the matlas I have close by, and then... Uh, and then attack this thing again. I'm, I'm just worried. I'm gonna see a trebuchet soon. I think that's the ship I fear most from the Onyx Watch, if I'm being honest, the trebuchet. The trebuchet or like the javelin or something. I forget what it's called, but like, it might be the javelin, the one with like all the large missiles. Because large missiles and 
advanced cannons, those are just tough to beat, you know? Like, you actually need good defense. Oh, that's quick. What is that? Oh, dear God, please don't. Oh, that's not good. Uh, I know what you are. Again, I don't think it has missiles. Another airship. It's similar to the uh, thing we fought earlier. Are you still damaged? You are still damaged. Oh my god, I can't catch a break. I just don't have enough resources. Even if I had a bigger ship, I just don't have the resources to, to build it anyway. So, I don't want to end off the video right here because... Oh, they've changed course. They're going for these ones now. Yeah, that thing's fast. It might actually catch me. Okay, 100% health. Let's go. Let's finish this thing off real quick. This might be the last battle. Maybe not. We'll see. So, as expected, pretty much everything's offline. I don't know what took off the uh, the cram cans that are offline. Maybe I got some internal damage with the high explosive missiles, but whatever the reason, uh, it's offline and I'll take it. It's got one cram can left. I doubt that's going to be enough to do major damage to me. It is 3x3 three three though, so that is about as strong as the ones I have on the um, Winter's Outpost. So. Okay, these, you know, these advanced cannons aren't terrible. They just kind of need to hit the right spot. I think we're definitely going to hit the AI soon. I actually might be able to rush these guys back down to the... Uh, what's it called? The, the Winner's Outpost that's about to be attacked by the Redoubt. And then that way they can defend. Oh, this thing is online. And it hit us. Did some good damage, actually. What did it hit? Okay, it just hit one of the propellers. That's... Did actually nothing. Nothing uh, that really matters. This thing can stay in the air with even all three on one side removed. So that's one of the good things about it. It can take a beating. Come on, get through, get through. It's so close. It's so close to getting through. AI is right there. This thing is taking a beating. Just like go down already. It's 70% health. There we go. We didn't take the AI out, but too low health. Oh my god, that took too long. But finally, defeated. We've won two battles. Well, actually, yeah, two battles. Let us... I'm not going to capture this in time, so you are going to run satellite because you can't win that fight. Now, let's quickly rush these two back down to the winner's outpost to hopefully defend. So, I know we're, like, we have one more battle that we could do, but I think I'm, I am going to end episode one off right there. Uh, I think next episode, I will fight the readout with what forces I have left on the on the map. And then I will probably build another ship, actually, because if anything, if if I've, if I've learned anything from this first episode about the Onyx Watch is that, or about this this uh, Deep Water Guard campaign, is that the ships I've built and the, the things I've built in my previous pre-build episodes are not going to be good enough against very hard Onyx Watch. I need bigger, more powerful ships. So um, I was thinking about what does the Deep Water Guard have that I haven't used yet that does some real damage. And it's true, some of their ships do use medium missiles, and some ships do have slightly better advanced cannons, but the main thing I am missing is cram cannons. So I think next episode I'm going to build something similar to that of the Plunderer. Um, I kind of like the two floaty things on the side kind of designs, but it's also going to use cram cannons. That's kind of the main thing. I'm going to build a cram cannon cruiser slash battleship vehicle to use against the uh, Onyx Watch because they're slow. So cram cannon should be just fine against them. Hopefully it goes okay. I will try to armor it up as best as I can, but there's not much I can do. Yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time.